what's good guys what's really good what I'm going to be doing today uh, for this video is if you have a Holly software I'm going to show you how to install a scramble button so you have a little extra go if you need it when you're on the track so before we get into it if you haven't already go ahead and smash uh, that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on any other videos. Plus, I got a lot of really good racing videos. So if you haven't seen them, you can check out these uh, cards up in the link above. And uh, at the end of the video, it has some different cards you can check out, right? Just scroll through, look at all the uh, videos I got, man. It's a lot of good racing action, right? That I'm bringing to you, right? And just hit all the bells, all the likes, all, right, all the subscribe, and comment down below if you like this video. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to your input output tabs, right? I'm already in it, right? And you can see I already have it labeled right here, scramble. Now, what you want to do, uh, well, I actually already typed it in there. Now, what you want to do is enable this, okay? You want to enable this, then you can select whether you want to have it a 12 volt or a ground or a five volt or a digital speed or can whatever, right? I'm gonna use my button pretty much to be a, uh, hit okay for this. My button to be, is gonna be a ground, okay? Then you wanna come over here. So this is gonna be my scramble button. See my input is not defined yet cause I ain't put it there. Uh, so next I'm gonna come up here to is so you got scramble, boost scramble increase, right? You want to check that. And then here is where you want to input how much dome pressure you want to increase it by when you hit the button, okay? So I got five PSI right now, right? So I'm gonna go, and I found this table right here, okay? So you do this first, put your scramble button here, select what type of input you want then you enable it then you come here and you check scramble increase and have much psi you want on top of the dome pressure the next you come to pin map right and you're gonna have to assign these two right here all right so i'm gonna use 12 a12 this is your input so you simply just click this and drag and drop. Same here, click this one, drag and drop, and then hit done. All right, now as far as the software side, that's it, right? I mean, you gotta save the file, but that's it, okay? And then you go upload it into the car. The new, you go upload it into the car, right? But then you gotta do the hardware side of it. So you have to solder the wire, solder a button in, okay? and uh, actually put it on, make sure you look at the diagram and you put it on whichever one you put this on. I use A12, right? So you gotta look at the Holly diagram and see what color wire on your input wiring is A12, okay? And I believe, don't hold me 100% to this, but I believe it's a blue and white one, okay, on your input harness. So I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna save the file. Yes. All right, now I'm gonna go and upload it to the car. And then I'm gonna press the trans brake button. And you guys are gonna see, hopefully see, uh, when I let go of the trans brake button, my scheduled boost curve um, should go in through it. I think I got it scheduled for 38 PSI. And then I don't think it's the same one as this one that I'm putting in here. So my scheduled boost curve is gonna be 38 PSI. And then when I hit the button, it's gonna jump up five PSI. All right, so let's go put it in the car and let's see. This is how I do my SARS. Since this is fairly thick solder right here, they're just waiting on it to heat up. It ain't gonna work too well. There we go. I'm gonna 
good. But it's been busy. I think this heat shrink might be too small. But heat shrink, right? You gotta heat it up. Good. Only that curve is is gonna go up to I think top it tops out. I gotta set up the top out at 40 uh, 38 psi. We don't. All right. So you can see here it's going up, going up, going up. All right. At 39, and then I hit the button and it goes up to 40, 41, 43. All right. 42. So that's how you set the scramble up. So, you know, if you haven't already, comment down below. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so we can have uh, more help, really help the channel out. Okay, and we'll see you next time.